You're a prince to be with us. Thank Welcome you, back. Hal. Hal, what's life been around the barn the last week and a half or so since Rachel left? Uh, it's almost back to normal, like she was never there. <laughs> we, uh, uh, about, about the first day, my help was getting a little down because they'd walked by that empty stall. So uh, late that afternoon, I had a couple of horses come in, and I just made sure I put one in there. And, and uh, you know, I, I got them all together and told them, look, uh, we could have sold this filly before the Oaks. We couldn't have gotten uh, uh, everything we did and celebrated and all. So let's, uh, you know, let's pick our heads up and get on with the routine. And that's that's pretty much what we're doing. We're all anxious to watch her run today. And when the gates open, uh, everyone in Born 30 here at Churchill will be pulling for her. That's great. How? When did you first find out about the sale, and what was your initial reaction? It was a Tuesday evening, uh, the Tuesday after uh, she ran in the Oaks, and uh, the owner, uh, Dolphus Morrison, called me and told me we had something in the works. I was a little surprised because I thought if she was going to be sold, it would probably be before the Oaks. And really afterwards, you know, with the celebration and the jubilation, uh, it never entered my mind that uh, we might be selling the Philly in. So he was a little surprised to me. He told me they would be by early the next morning, Wednesday morning, to take a look at her, watch her gallop. And if they liked what they saw, they'd go ahead and vet her out. And that all went uh, pretty quick that morning. Uh, that afternoon, the owners... Uh